So I'm staying at this amazing little Airbnb. It's a 1940s motor hotel sort of thing. Uh, so what people do is they pull up with their car, or they used to, and then would go into these little car ports, and then you stay in these tiny little homes here, which um, I'm not sure exactly what the history of it is. It seems like something maybe like a bachelor would do like while on the road or maybe a little bit of a no-tell motel sort of thing. But uh, what I'm interested in is the window box outside my Airbnb room has this here. This is related to asparagus. It's a species in the asparagus genus. And what's cool about this, I mean obviously there's no stalks there, but if you look in there, you can see a little red berry. That is the asparagus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second so we could talk a little bit about asparagus. The asparagus that I'm showing in this video is a different species than the one that you get from the store. I don't believe any part of it is edible ever. The kind of asparagus that you buy in the store, you know, the edible kind, well that also does this. What you buy from the market is actually the young stalks of this plant. When those stalks mature, they'll get woody, they'll develop flowers, and eventually they'll get little fruits too. When edible asparagus matures, it's no longer all that edible. The plant itself gets woody and tough to eat, and those little cute adorable little berries on it, yeah, those things will mess you up. And fun fact, white asparagus is just green asparagus without chlorophyll. How that happens is that as it's growing, the farmer will actually take soil and pile it up on top of the shoots. That way the asparagus never sees any sunlight and it doesn't go through photosynthesis. Neat. Yeah, asparagus actually, let me see if I can get this out. Yeah, so this here is asparagus fruit. Go to some light so you can see what I'm talking about here. And uh, yeah, asparagus fruit is highly poisonous. Uh, it won't kill you, I don't think, but if you eat uh, just like a handful of these, it'll make you throw up pretty hardcore. So I'm not gonna eat it, obviously, but it's um, cool to see that a plant that we're so familiar with, like asparagus, actually has a little cute berry on it. I believe if you break this open, we can do this with one hand, there's like little black seeds in there. Yeah. So if you wanted to grow asparagus, you could take these berries, take those seeds out and, bury, and uh, plant them, and then you get little asparagus stalks, but yeah, that's it. So I'm not gonna eat it, but I'll uh, smell it, see what it smells like. smells like a like a wet stick that's kind of what it smells like a little woody smelling planty also growing outside my Airbnb are these little blackberries here which uh, honestly I don't know what these are they mm, I don't think they're related to the asparagus they kind of look a little bit like it because of the the plant it's gr growing on but See if I break one of these open, it's not, it doesn't have those big black seeds. It's got like little teeny, teeny ones, more like a solanum, like a tomato relative than a asparagus relative. But yeah, there they are. If you know what those are, let me know. But um, also probably equally poisonous. So I'm gonna wash my hands really well, and uh, I'll see you next time. I would like to give a very special shout out to. Natalie P. Natalie is a mega patron over on Patreon.com. Uh, Patreon is how this channel happens. I've talked about it before, but if you haven't checked it out, check out the link in the description below. And again, Natalie, thank you so much.